What's up guys, I'm Derek. Bad bitches, fast agents, I remember when I didn't have any. Now I do a show and everybody fucking raps with me. Turn my life around from a butler to a majesty. Team so nice, we ain't need to get a mascot. I've always held it down, even if we have you here today. How are you feeling today? Oh, fucking tired. There's so much going on. Tired? Yes, there's <laughs> yeah. so much going on. Too much. Nice, nice. Well, at least it's good things, right? Yeah, but there's too much sometimes. <laughs> With the first question, um, where are you from? I know you're not from uh, here, so where are you from originally? I was born in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. I kind of moved everywhere because my dad was in the Navy. And then I ended up in Barstow. I stayed there for a while. I would probably consider that my home, honestly. And then I moved to Missouri for a year. And then I came back to Barstow. And then I came down to San Diego, so basically Barstow. Barstow? Yeah. What do you, um, do you like San Diego? Like, a lot? Yeah, I mean... Would you prefer Barstow or San Diego? That's a hard question, because if I say San Diego, Barstow will hate me, but it's just like... It's like I mean, in between? I like, I like Barstow for okay. the people. I like, I like going to see my friends, I like going to see my mom, I like going to see my family. But I like down here because I focus, like, there's no bullshit down here, like, I just right, focus. Right. Like, I do work. Like, in Barso, like, I'll get in trouble, I'll fucking do some hood rat shit. <laughs> can't be doing that all the time. No, no, you can't. You have to focus on what you want to do with your music. So talking about your music, um, who inspired you to do all of this? Do you have a certain hero? <laughs> and uh, I don't get, I got that question one more, I had that question in another interview with a blog. I don't get inspired by anybody, I get inspired by life. About life? Yeah. If, Is like, there a certain event in your life that has inspired you? Do you do all this? Yeah, falling off a truck. Falling off a truck? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> that seems pretty hard. Yeah. Well, I probably could have went to whatever school I wanted for uh, baseball okay, for college. Okay. But my sophomore year, I fell off a truck and ended up breaking this part down, this part up, breaking my collarbone, and dislocating everything on this side, breaking my back, breaking my head open, blah, 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 mm. all that stuff, tore my muscle, had surgery basically for like a whole year, and then. Really, honestly, like, I just use music as therapy. Okay, okay. That, and that's good. I never really took it serious until I got down here. Wow. So did you feel like, like, damn, like, my life could have ended there and you just <sighs> took your life, like, serious? I was all sense? fucking depressed. Yeah. Played baseball my whole life, every day. And I got hurt. And I was like, poof, like, fucking rap. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um... So you don't get inspired by any by anyone or anything other, um, other than your life experiences. But um, what got you into the music business? Um, or what made you get into the music business? My friends, honestly. Your friends? Because <laughs> <laughs> I just I was just that kid that like freestyled and did some bullshit, you know. And he just told you why don't you do some music? Like some of them they were like, Hey, you should record and then I had other people in here like you should record and then my friends my best friends they were always like, Yeah, just do it, like try it and I tried it and okay. <laughs> Did you like expect this? Like did you actually see this like way back then? Like uh, did you see all of this yeah. happening? Yeah, I've always seen I don't know, I'm very uh um, when I start something I have to finish it. Like all I have right. to I have to become like the greatest at it. That's a good mindset. Yeah. That is a really good mindset. How does it feel to have accomplished all your goals or at least some of them? How does <laughs> Not it feel? All of them, yeah, but uh, it's crazy, honestly. Like I know I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. Right. But now like I don't know, it's just crazy. Like I wake up to like good mornings and my DMs like <laughs> How does that, that feel? That like, damn, time. girls I'm are like, thinking about I'm me. like, good morning to you too. <laughs> <laughs> good morning to all you girls. Um, do you have like a specific person that you're talking to at the moment or <laughs> is there is there like a special someone? <laughs> what do you think your fans will get out of your music? Mm, what do you mean? Like um, what kind of message are you trying to send out there? Are you trying to, to help them? To my friends or to my fans? To your fans. Oh, like, are honestly, you trying to inspire them for something? Like, yeah, what's the message? Like, throughout my whole, like, <clears throat> like, baseball and music, like, I was really good at baseball, and I mm -hmm. worked every day at it. Right. So now, like, with music, 
I want them to know like you can do whatever you want just do it like do continue at it don't pick it up one day and get bored with it right because like every every human is equal every human is born the same like no baby is fucking all of a sudden stronger than another baby like it's literally who you want to be you could be that you just have to do it wow that was good that was really good that was deep <laughs> <laughs> what has been the most difficult thing you had to endure with your um in your life that has to do with your music industry <laughs> a lot too much fucking how do you overcome nine years of being picked on when i was little a year of surgery and now my some of my family members and friends look at me different because i don't play baseball anymore okay so they they had an image for you and you're oh not everybody that. had an image for me everybody yeah yeah do you feel like you um do you feel bad no. No. Because no. it's my life. Because that's you, and you like what you're doing. That's yes. it. Okay. <clears throat> what do you hope to do with your music? Like exactly. Um, like music, like as in music, music, or like my career part. In both ways. Music, music, like I'm just trying to do something different, like. I'm trying to be so different from everybody else. Like I don't want to be Drake. I don't want to be Jeezy. All right. I don't want to be Logic, I don't want to be any of them, like, they're cool as shit, they're all good artists, but I just want to be something, like, something different, and for okay. the career wise, like, I want to get to that point where money is steady, and, like, I just don't have to work, I don't have to do anything besides music, okay. and I want to be able to start a few uh, charities, one for my best friend, for his little sister, for to get Down Syndrome kids to call it, to give them the same opportunity as people, another one for athletes that get hurt and lose their scholarship, and get them to college so they can get their education and then I want to buy all the houses I've said and rent them over and free to single parents that are struggling. Nice. Wow, that is a dream. <laughs> I've never heard someone say they want to do that for a single parenting. Yeah. And that is deep because there's a lot of single parents. Yeah, a lot. I mean, my parents are divorced, so. Okay, so you understand. Mm hmm That's very really good. How would you define your own music? Mm -hmm. How would I? Uh, I'm very, uh, very hard on myself, so I would probably say it's not that good right now. Not that good? <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> Especially because I got, like, I feel like I got first tips to listen what you're about to come up with tomorrow. And well, I really no, like, like, like that project's really, really good. That project's really good. But, like, the music that, like, before that, I mean, it's good. Like, people like it, but, like... It's not where I want to be, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna settle for that. Like I don't. Okay, want that. okay. So like I have a bunch of new projects coming out like after this, and mm -hmm. like it's better than I'm releasing Trouble in Paradise, and then I have another something coming, and that's okay. already better than this, and then that song. And I already Trouble think Paradise Trouble in Paradise is pretty good already, so I'm excited for what you <laughs> to come up with next. Um, so when you were coming up as an artist, um, what did you listen for an inspiration? What kind of artists did you listen to? Mm. I listen to everything. Uh, I'll listen to fucking jazz music. Jazz I music? I just like music. Okay. If I can pick a pattern up, and I can listen to it. You can listen to any kind of music then? Yeah, I mean, I grew up on country and rock, so it's kind of weird, like, being... It's kind of weird to it's make you listen to country. Rap, no, honestly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My mom listened to country, my dad listened to rock, and nobody really listened to rap in my family besides my brother. And then I didn't really listen to rap until I was like probably like 13 or 14. And I was listening to like the lame assholes, like fucking, like they weren't even rap, they were like fucking pop artists. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. I was like, I didn't even oh, know wow. fucking artists, and then I don't, I don't So you can say that like your brother brought you like into like the rap music? Mm hmm. Quote unquote, yeah. He got me hood. <laughs> <laughs> Once you make it big, what do you plan to do to help the world? I know one is, you know, get homes so you can rent it out for single parenting. Oh, uh, help the world. Um, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of, a lot of things. Um, like three charities I want to do. I want to travel. Like, I was in a thing when I was like, what was it? Probably like fifth grade, cause I told my teacher I didn't believe in Santa Claus, so she told me to do this with her, and it's called Pace. And like, uh, they go to like the 
the students that couldn't afford a Christmas and okay. I give them Christmas. Oh, okay, okay. So, like, everybody in the class would circle something they want for Christmas and then one kid would circle, like, a lot. And he wouldn't know. And basically what we would do, we would give him a Christmas he couldn't afford it. Wow. So we would give him, like, Are you doing something like that now? Or are you planning to? I'm planning to, yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm going to get into the topic with your album. Yeah, that is dropping tomorrow, Jan December. <laughs> it's an EP. I don't, I'm not going to do an album yet. Oh, so you're coming out tomorrow with your um, first EP, Trouble in Paradise? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that must be exciting. I yeah, heard I heard the song Assumptions, and in one of your lyrics, it said, if you do not know me, then don't make assumptions. I really like that, because anybody could actually relate to that, and that exactly. is a really good message that you're sending out. But, 100%. Like... I walk around and people look at me and they're like, you thought you fucking stupid fucking wannabe thug kid. Like, I'm going they don't know what you're yeah, doing, exactly. exactly. Like, yeah. like, it's like, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I really like that. And um, in your other lyric, it said, bad bitches, fast ah. engine, I remember when I didn't have any. Um, so once you mentioned that, knowing now that you, once you make it big, what do you plan to do to help the world? I know one is, you know, get homes so you can rent it out for single parenting. Oh, I hope the world. Um, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of, a lot of things. Um, like three charities I want to do. I want to travel. Like, I was in a thing when I was like, what was it? Probably like fifth grade. Because I told my teacher I didn't believe in Santa Claus. So she told me to do this with her. And it's called Pace. And like, uh, they go to like the the students that couldn't afford a Christmas and okay. they give them Christmas. Oh, okay, okay. So, like everybody in the class would circle something they want for Christmas, and then one kid would circle like a lot, and he wouldn't know. And basically, what we would do, we would give him a Christmas he couldn't afford. It. Wow. So we would give him. Like, are you doing something like that now, or are you planning to? I'm planning to. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, what is your vision for your music? Oh, we already kind of went through that, so... Now, I'm going to get into the topic with your album. Yeah, that is dropping tomorrow, Jan <laughs> December... It's an EP. I don't, I'm not going to do an album yet. Okay, I'll say EP. Yeah. Your EP of, what is it? Lost in Paradise? Trouble in Paradise. Okay, i got to say that all over again. Tr Trouble in Paradise. So you're coming out tomorrow with your um, first EP, Trouble mm -hmm. in Paradise? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that must be exciting. I heard, yeah, I heard the song crazy. Assumptions. And in one of your lyrics, it said, if you do not know me, then don't make assumptions. I really like that because anybody could actually relate to that. And that exactly. is a really good message that you're sending out. But, 100%. Like, I walk around and people look at me and they're like, you thought you're fucking stupid fucking wannabe thug kid. Like, I'm going they don't know what you're yeah, doing. Exactly. 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 Like, yeah. It's like, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. I really like that. And, um. And your other lyric is that bad bitches, fast ah. engine, I remember when I didn't have any. Um, so once you mentioned that, knowing now that you do have that, has it changed you as a person? <laughs> no. I would never change as a person. I Honestly, like, I feel like if you don't love who you are, then you have to be able to love yourself and understand who you are. You can't change who you are to be able to grow as a person. Okay, okay. So I'm always, gonna, I'm always gonna say the same fucking goof, goofball I am. <laughs> yeah, but I like that. That bitch is fast engine. I remember when what I didn't have any. And now you do. Um, you even get DM, good morning DMs every morning. <laughs> I didn't even get that. Damn. <laughs> those <laughs> are just, okay. those are fans. Those are all fans. <laughs> um, what do you mean by gold in my neck? I'm going to turn it into rock. Like, because to most people, gold is enough. Like, that's like. Oh, see, the highest. yeah. See, like. So, like. I don't want to. I don't want to settle for anything less. Like, I want to be great. Like, I want to be. Right. I want to be. Um, like, legit. Like, I want to take Drake's spot. Like, <laughs> and this is not good enough. Like, I want to have. Like, like I don't want to have some crazy ass chain, like fucking mm -hmm. two chains or something like that. I just want a gold, like a diamond chain. Oh, that's damn. top tier. Oh, wow. That is. That that's is unique. Tier, that you know? is very unique. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so, and um, your other song, False Advertisement, <laughs> is there someone you're trying to diss or throw shade on? <laughs> by the, song. Yeah, yeah, by the way you said, if you look at me and look at you, we aren't the same. Uh, it's a whole song. Me and him talked about it. Okay. But yes, False Advertisement is about somebody, the whole song. And he knows. They, everybody knows. He dissed me. He dissed me twice or something like that. He dissed and, you twice? Yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to respond. Like, it's not worth it. And then... I was like, promotion-wise, like, it'll help. It'll help to sell because people hear it and they're like, damn, he went off. Yeah. I'm going to buy the yeah. EP. Right. So I released that first for people to buy the EP. Um, but like I said, I talked to him. We talked. He's actually performing with me at my nice. show. Yeah. I mean, we're not like fucking like best friends or anything, but we're like, cool. For, we're, on good, we're on good terms. Yeah, okay. for business. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Let's see, that's the way to look at it then. I, was, I heard it and I was like, damn, who's he throwing shade to? It goes really hard. <laughs> and Out in California, I like that song, I like that song a lot. And then one of your lyrics is this, I want bigger things, bigger rings, no bigger team. It's also a dope little nicotine. <laughs> and as a no bigger team, like, um, why is that you don't want, why is it that you don't want a bigger team? Like, wouldn't that make, make everything better? No, well, I mean, like, honestly, I started with my best friends, and, like, nobody really fucked with me. They were like, oh, he's fucking, he's, he's another white kid, and fucking, whatever. So I started with my best friends. I kind of grew up, made it into where now some, some people started fucking with me. So some people wanted to be more friends, blah, blah, blah. And then I ended up meeting, who did I meet first? My promoter. Then I met my filmer. Oh, no, I met my promoter, my producer, and then my filmer. And they've been, like, fucking, like, great. They've been so great. I have a team full of best friends. Nice, My nice. promoter works for, like, E40, 2 chains, and okay. fucking all that shit. My producer, pff, she's fucking, hands down, the best fucking person in the world. <laughs> she makes our music sound so great. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. But she's from, your producer. She's from the UK, though. Okay. But she's killing it. She's killing it again over there and here. Fucking everywhere. She works it for everybody. My filmer, he's fucking insane. Insane. So, like, now, like, I honestly, I don't need a person, like, coming to me, like, oh, I can offer you this, or I can offer you that. Like, mm -hmm. I have my team set up. Yeah. Like, I have my videos, I have my promoter, and I have, all I need is a manager, and I don't think I want one. So you're like your own, you're yourself boss then. Yeah. You're, the, you're your own decision maker. Mm -hmm. And then clearly with the accident you had, the, your um your accident at age 16, I'm assuming it's when you fell off the truck. Oh. Damn. That's crazy. Yeah. That, was, that was a good song. Is there um anything that you want to add on about your album? Oh, well, okay. For the album California, it's funny because the first verse was six months in making music. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the last verse is where I'm at now. And the whole concept behind the, the EP is it starts really mean and like really aggressive, like fuck you almost. And yeah. it ends off in like, this is what we do, like really chilling. Yeah. Because like I want to symbolize like I started, like I'm, I'm in paradise here, but it was trouble, like trouble in paradise. And it ended just to be in paradise. And yeah. in the song in the middle is called Trouble in Paradise. And that's such a different beat because everything goes down. That's this unique beat. And I want everybody to focus on that song. To understand, like that's trouble in paradise. Oh, well, you you're coming out with new merchandise, right? Yes. And you'll be selling it at your show. <sighs> yeah. And what show is it once again? Uh, January sixth, I believe. Yeah, first Friday of January in Barstow. In Barstow, where you're from, your hometown, then? Yeah, it's for the EP release. Oh, okay, okay, that must be really exciting then. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope. Um, <laughs> Is there any other events that you're coming up with and you want to let everybody know? Or are you trying to keep it as a surprise? <coughs> um, I don't know. <coughs> are you, you should probably drink again. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. Shit changes every day. Oh, yeah. So like, I can have an event tomorrow. I don't know. I have to, my promoter sets up my events. So I just like make the music. So... As of right now, I don't think so. Just music videos, EPs, newer shit, and in that show. Yeah. Um, on your Instagram, do you, on your link, do you have um, 
the link where your tickets are going to be selling? No, I'm not going to sell them online. I'm just going to sell them there because, like, okay. honestly, Barstow is kind of in the, like, not in the middle of nowhere, but middle of everywhere, kind of, because it's, like, okay. in between Vegas and Barstow, so it's kind of, like, it's kind of a far drive for a lot of people. Oh, it's from here? Town, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Wow, so something for your, like, inner circle people. Yeah, well, it's for my hometown, honestly. Yeah. It's because... That's where it all No one ever gives back to that town. That's sweet. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Well, that's a wrap here with Derek. And for those of you who don't know, he, well, he does have an EP coming out tomorrow, so check that out. Yeah. And his new merchandise that will also be coming out. Yeah. So, thank you, Derek, yeah. for... No, Doing you. an interview with me? Thank this you. is awesome. Alright then. Have a good bye.